labrīt, dāmas un kungi. Esat sveicināti Eiropas Savienības mājā, Eiropas inovāciju padomas prezentācijas pasākumā. Šodienas darba valoda mums kā globālā zinātnes valoda būs angļu. Tā kā es pārslēgšos tagad uz angļu valodu. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you this morning to the EU House, to the roadshow of the European Innovation Council in Latvia. For the opening remarks, let me give the floor to the acting head of the representation of the European Commission here in Latvia, Mr. Andris Kuzmieks. Good morning. Thank you, Martin. And uh, also a big thanks to you uh, for putting together this event. Uh, I see uh, almost full house, uh, which is, I think, for Monday morning, very good indicator that you're all uh, very much interested in uh, research and innovation. Um, as you know, uh, yesterday we all, I hope all, went to polling stations and day before and a few days before, and we have uh, the election results, uh, everyone is discussing it, but today let's focus on uh, research and innovation. A few weeks ago I made an opening uh, statement and speech uh, in similar roadshow event that was held in Riga Technical University. That time uh, we presented European Institute of Technology and Innovation and we were showcasing uh, the offer for research intense companies and helping and how to help them bring innovation uh, into the market. And at that time I called uh, this EIT as EU's hidden gem, uh, which uh, elicited some uh, appreciative uh, reactions and uh, from both the institute director and also from the audience. Today I can only say basically the same because the European Innovation Council is another EU's uh, lesser known treasures. So uh, that's why I am really glad that we'll try and open it today for you. We all know that uh, enterprises in the United States benefit uh, from much deeper risk and venture capital base than in the EU. And for this reason, many European startups, including Latvian ones, emigrate to Silicon Valley when they need risk financing for global and fast scaling up. Another valley many new R&D enterprises fall into is the proverbial valley of death between a great research idea and uh, generating market demand. To address both challenges, part of the Horizon 2020 program has been re-engineered into US style innovation council. You know, we love to compare Europe, Europe with United States, so there I think we see that this is an example we could move probably, but we can discuss it today during the course of uh, discussions. Um, and the objective of the EIC is to identify, nurture and support breakthrough technologies and uh, disruptive and market creative innovation including scaling up. From the idea down to the market deployment. It will operate on an innovator-centric basis, while specific objectives might be identified and implemented via top-down calls. Bottom-up ones shall always be open so as to allow any innovation in any area or field to be proposed. We have today with us uh, Deputy Director General of our Research and Innovation uh, Directorate, Signe Razzo and her colleagues, uh, and today uh, they'll help you open this hidden treasure chest by describing the new EIC instruments, Pathfinder and Advanced Research and the Accelerator, as, a, as well as active management approach to be applied in EIC operations. We are very thankful to Signe and her colleagues for bringing these news to Riga in person. Today we know that uh, 15 Latvian enterprises have already benefited from Horizon 2020 as an instrument, the predecessor of EIC in the pilot phase, and many more are currently pitching for financing. 
We have some of them also present uh, in the room today. One of them will be also later in the, in the panel. It's the Anatomy Next uh, Limited company. And I'm sure that uh, we will have exciting first-hand experience about how to pitch to the EIC technology managers successfully. I wish you great uh, discussions today, and I hope uh, we will all benefit from EIC today and also looking in the future. Thank you. Good day to all the participants of this meeting and uh, thank you to the representatives of the European Commission for finding the time to give a detailed look into European Innovation Council and its current and future activities. I'm honored to speak in this uh, EIC event that is aimed at the informing interesting parties about the various EIC innovation support instruments which exist to support world-class innovators entrepreneurs, small companies and researchers who have the ambition and the ideas to scale up internationally. Horizon 2020 and Horizon Europe Framework Programme functions as an intellectual bridge that joined research in Europe and through EIC activities we see an additional expansive connection between European innovators and in all EU countries. If I would be asked to describe EIC in one sentence, I would say, dream big, think big, go big. That is something we do sometimes miss in Latvia and in Europe. It is very much about being more ambitious in utilizing our knowledge and scaling up innovation and businesses. Horizon 2020 midterm review was explicit that Europe should do more in exploiting innovation. The famous LAMI I level group report gave a push to Commissioner Moeres' idea about the ESC, which he mentioned first time already during Latvian presidency in 2015. And it is true that we, Europe as a whole, are facing challenges. You heard from Andris already, but indeed, compared with, for example, US, China, as well as Japan and South Korea, Europe falls behind specifically in the business sector R&D investment and our startup sector is less active when comparing the venture capital investments and the number of unicorns. Far too often, the results of research done in Europe is commercialized somewhere outside, US or China, for example. If we look at the SME instrument in Horizon 2020, no other instrument has been such large activity with more than 500 submissions from approximately 200 institutions. This activity definitely illustrates the interest from entrepreneurs. However, only 3% of project submissions have been financed. This means that the main future challenge is to transform this substantial activity into funded projects, especially when considering notably bigger role that EIC will play in the next framework program Horizon Europe. And it will continue after 2020. We, Member States, Commission and European Parliament have agreed on real EIC in Horizon Europe program after 2020. There have been numerous ministerial and stakeholder discussions and today we are witnessing that Europe can act and can change. It was not easy at all, I must say, agreeing on EIC and Horizon Europe negotiations. First, those were the fastest negotiations I can recall in framing the program history. Secondly, it was not crystal clear how EIC should look like, not at all. We, member states, certainly understood the need for breakthrough innovation and scale-up. But we also know that the backbone of our economies are small and medium enterprises. And we know that our life is being changed by numerous examples of incremental innovation and improvements are developed and delivered by small and courageous innovators. And for this reason, we were absolutely clear that SME instrument with grant-only finance option will stay. Albert, it will be called Accelerator after 2020. 
In EIC pilot, 2.7 billion euros are intended for EIC activities in Horizon 2020 program up until 2020, forming an important part of the framework program. If Latvia will be able to show the same results in this instrument as across the whole Horizon 2020 framework program, then this has the potential to ensure European Commission support for our innovation activities amounting to several million euros in this period. When looking at the sectors where Latvian SMEs have been the most successful in the SME instrument and EIC pilot activities, it is evident that the existing innovation routes are largely based on sectors that have strong scientific tradition, either now or in the past, and almost all supported SME projects are in the fields that the country has defined as a priority in our smart specialization strategy. I also would like to say a few words about innovation ecosystem. Research and innovation cannot flourish without an ecosystem, without strong links between universities, research and enterprises. So-called national plug-in scheme in EIC will allow sticking together the EU-level support with national innovation support programs. Commissions still have to tell us in detail how it is going to leak in reality and in practical terms. Meanwhile, on our side, it is important to assure that we prepare our local system to be ready for these challenges. That means doing some homework on our side too. We need to provide a full-fledged technology transfer system which will enable the companies to take over the best ideas from our universities and research institutions and to design adequate support programs which would fit for famous EIC plug-in scheme and EIC blended finance. Yes, well, preparations also means that we have to learn a number of few fancy words and their meaning. And now I come to the point that means that research in universities and research institutions must be adequately funded in order to produce the necessary results in sufficient quantity. But we believe that if working together, we can overcome challenges and build sustainable bridge across the innovation gap that persists between EU member states and that impedes EU's global competitiveness. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a good day.